is an interesting thought exercise to ask, what would you do if you realized that you were going to die soon? And I guess there's two different kinds of dying soon. There's what you would do if you thought you were going to die really, really soon. Like, if all you had was the next day or two to get your life in order, then what would you do? And then there's the question of, okay, what if you weren't going to die tomorrow or the next day? Like, you have a little bit of time, but you don't have very much time. Like, let's say hypothetically, you were going to die at the end of the year, okay? So you got six months, maybe, to get your life in order. Then what would you do? And these are interesting things to think about, not because we want to be morbid, but because life ultimately does not go on forever. In many cases, we can have a clue as to when we will die based on our age, but that's not an assurance. There's always the possibility that our life will be cut short much much sooner than that. And I think it's interesting how I've seen, in many cases, I've seen YouTube content where somebody makes a post about how they are facing death. Oftentimes they have a channel that's about something else, something unrelated, and then you'll see a post and they say, I'm going to die. They got bad news. They found out that their life is coming to an end. And suddenly those videos that they make about facing death will get millions of views. Why? Because, you know, maybe they were making content about how to crochet socks and nobody really cared too much about that. But when you start talking about something real, like passing on, suddenly now people do get interested in it. Maybe it's morbid curiosity. Or maybe it's just that every single one of us, on some level, we think about this every day. We know that we aren't going to be around forever, and it's unsettling to us, and we try not to think about it. And we try to operate under the illusion that we will always be young and healthy with our whole life ahead of us. But the truth is, that's not how it is. And the more we know that, the more we can make the most of our life, whether it is long or short. And I try to make the content of my videos loop around to tie in at least loosely with the concept or the topic of gaming, because I want this to be a little bit of a gaming channel not a channel about gaming so much as a channel which is geared toward people who share my perspective as a gamer. And I try to make my content presented through the lens of that idea that life is itself something like an adventure game because it is in any case i was thinking about how grindy games tend to appeal more to people who think that they're going to live forever but if i if i, if I thought that i wasn't going to be around for very long i wouldn't worry so much about games that let you grind for a higher amount of power. I wouldn't be 
focused on games that give me the opportunity to win a battle and flex on another player. Like those are the kinds of experiences that I just wouldn't care about. Because when you realize that your life is pretty much over, somehow winning a PvP match just doesn't ring the same. It doesn't hit the same. But you know what you do? You you want to maybe you'd log into Skyrim or something or or Elder Scrolls Online or some other game that you thought was super cool from your childhood and you would go there. Wouldn't be about flexing on anybody. It wouldn't be about winning. It would just be about being there. You would go reminisce about some of those special things that brought joy into your life in times past. And you would focus on shared experiences with people who you love and people who care about you and care about the things that you value. Those are the kinds of things that you would do if you thought you weren't going to be around for very long. If you were going to be gone pretty soon, probably at the top of the list would be to have a good attitude, to let go of the toxic things, the things that are poking fun at people, the things that are creating content at someone else's expense. If you thought you were going to be no longer in this world tomorrow or in six months, I think you would care a little bit less about raging because your neighbor has different political views than you. Like those would no longer be your main interest. And you would suddenly be a lot more interested in just celebrating positive things and feeling a sense of connections. The truth is, whether or not we live a long time, it's important to spend your time doing a few good things that make you feel positive about life and which make you feel positive about other people. And I also think it's important to think about the things that you have on your bucket list that you want to do. Because we don't have unlimited time. Maybe it's that game that you wanted to 100%. You wanted to finish the main story quest. Maybe it's the book you wanted to write. Or maybe it's just that friend who you haven't talked to for a while. And it would probably not be a terrible idea for you to reach out. Whatever it is, sometimes it can be healthy to approach life from the perspective of knowing that you aren't going to be around forever. And we have a tendency to pretend that we're immortal. And then there's moments in our life when we're reminded that we're not. Maybe it's just that little twinge of mortality when you realize that your eyesight isn't what it used to be. Or you realize that you're no longer extremely young and instead you're now part of the middle-aged crowd. You know, I think people who reach the end of their lives, who are old, they probably do come to terms with this a lot more. But people who are younger, we struggle more to really understand what it means to be mortal. Because we have the luxury of being able to choose to ignore it. 
we can put blinders on. We can ignore the fact that time will not spare any of us. And yet, acknowledging this, it's very important. Because often the key to living a good life is understanding that you will die. Don't take this as a reason to be morbid. Just ask yourself the question. If you had only a couple of days left to live, what would you do with those days? If you had only a few months to live, how would you spend those months? And then, if you have your life ahead of you, what are you doing to reflect those values with the life that you have so that whether your life is long or short, it's a life that's worth living? Because probably, whether you do live long or short, the things that you would want to do if your life wasn't going to last very long, you also should be doing, even if you do have quite a bit more time ahead. We should be kinder. We should be more patient. We should be more interested in connection and less interested in competition. We should be more proactive about getting things done today instead of putting them off for one day. We should take time to pursue hobbies and interests and all of those things that you might think you're too busy for. And we should make a point to prioritize experiences which give us peace over the ones which make us feel more powerful. For everyone, the things that give our life a sense of purpose and hope and meaning are different. And yet, life has loveliness to sell. And we should continue to buy it and never count the cost. Wherever you find yourself, good luck on your adventure. And till next time. Thanks for watching.